Hello people of the internet, this is Kaiju Noir here with my review for TED, the first film outing for director Seth MacFarlane, who is best known as the creator of Family Guy, American Dad, and The Cleveland Show. I have been a fan of MacFarlane's work for quite some time, though in recent years I have found myself gravitating towards American Dad, as Family Guy has felt like a chore to watch during its recent seasons, as the characters have become unlikable, save for Stewie, and the humor feels forced and half of the time unfunny. As for The Cleveland Show, I saw several episodes and wasn't impressed. Luckily for me, McFarlane still knows comedy, as Ted turned out to be one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long, long time, thanks to its hilarious writing and characters. Ted is a film that pokes fun at the boy and his magical friend story that has been seen in properties such as E.T., Calvin and Hobbes, and especially in this case, Winnie the Pooh. The film's basic premise is, what would happen if the boy and his friend grew up and had to get on with their lives? It's a premise that's pretty original and has the potential for a slew of funny jokes and gags. The story begins in 1985, where a little boy named John receives a teddy bear for Christmas and wishes on a shooting star for his toy to come to life. The next morning, he finds out that his wish came true, and he and Ted become the best of friends. Gee, I wish my plush came to life when I was a kid. We then see a montage where the whole world is amazed at how a stuffed animal is alive, and both Ted and John become celebrities. Finally, we cut to present day, where John and Ted have achieved very little in their lives, and spend their days drinking, partying, and getting high. But when John's girlfriend, Lori, asks him to grow up, John must then learn to prioritize his life. The film's plot is pretty predictable, as you can tell what will happen simply by watching the trailer. However, what kept this from being boring was the humor. Nine times out of ten, the movie had me in stitches. Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, and Seth MacFarlane as the voice of Ted have excellent chemistry with each other, and many of the side characters also have their own great moments. The movie definitely has a very early Family Guy style of humor, where the characters name drop celebrities, other films, and make pop culture references to either mock or praise them. Surprisingly, only twice in the same scene do they do a cutaway gag, something Family Guy has been known for. Thankfully, the film doesn't have that lazy sort of humor seen in recent Family Guy seasons, where a character takes what feels like an eternity to perform a simple task. A running gag in the movie deals with John and Ted's love for the 1980 Flash Gordon film, and all of this culminates in what has to be the best scene in the whole film. The weakest aspect of the film for me was this one creepy stalker of Ted and his son. I felt that the only reason they were even there was to provide the film with an antagonist. Despite that, Ted gets a 4 out of 5 from me, and I would easily recommend it for those who enjoy Seth MacFarlane's style of humor and fans of R-rated comedies. This film does get crude a lot of the time, but unlike a lot of other comedies where it's raunchy just for the sake of being raunchy, this raunchiness actually serves a purpose for the story, especially for the character of Ted. So if you can get past that and you've laughed at the trailers already, then go see it. So until next time everybody, take care.